Hey fellas and fellerettes, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to put the door back together after having done the door lock on the Ranchero. Now this is the original protective shield that was between the door and the door card. Now as you can see on that side it's like a, a black waxy effect on it and this is the bit that covers the door card sits next to it. So it'll only fit on one way, so we'll go and get this back on. And it's just simply a case of fitting it onto the door. Well, that's the door protector on. So as you can see, I've uh, attached it with bits of duct tape. Now it was held on with tape originally, admittedly not so much, there was only a couple of bits. But that's the, uh, the protecting card back on, so that's all done. Just got the door card to go on now. And then, uh, well, actually no, we've got the speaker to sort out. Oh, that big hole you can see there is where the speaker is and the speaker's just lying inside the floor of the truck for now uh, whilst I work out whether to put another speaker in or put that one back in and then once that's in the door car can go back on all the hardware, the handle, the window winder etc. So I did the right thing, I went online, bought a cheap pair of speakers So the speakers have arrived then. Let's do a bit of a box opening and uh, see what they look like. As you saw, I ordered these a couple of days ago. Uh, they ought to go into the ranchero. As well as did the door locks, the speakers in the doors from new were all frayed at the back and the wires are fairly bad. So whilst the door card was off and the door was apart, I've got some new speakers and fit a, a new speaker into it. I want to see these do appear to be well wrapped. Very well wrapped. This door protected on the way here. speakers. Now there's a pair of these. Six inch speakers and that was the problem in finding them. It's not that easy to find six inch speakers anywhere these days. The more commonly ones that are used or the ones that are used more commonly appear to be six and a half inch speakers. So to try to find a pair of six inch ones that fit the car or would fit the car proves to be slightly difficult. That's my instructions for attaching it. And they are coaxial speakers. Let's have a look at this first one and see what it looks like. I'm certain whether I'll be using the covers they come with or if I'll use the grill that's already in the car. six inch speaker and that will just go in and connect up to the existing wiring in the Ranchero and hopefully going to give us some better sound quality than what's in there at the moment. 
So first of all, we'll uh, get the cables connected. You know, they're a straightforward fit. Uh, they just slot straight on at the back. They're just on spade connectors, if you can see them there. So we'll get those connected up first of all. And then once they're on there, we can slide that into the door and screw it into place. I'll just tuck those wires into the door. And we'll get everything lined up. Start by putting a screw in one position. Okay, so that's the speaker in. Now all we've got to do is get the door cord on. So we'll take you in for a closer look at the door cord. Now these slits here or where those pins clip into. Well, that one's all that one's alright. As you can see though there's a bit of damage on that one. The bottom one seems to be okay though. So we're okay there. The door card itself, this particular size, isn't in bad condition at all. So I could probably get away with reusing this one, although it is a bit damp, slightly twisted. Now this bit along here, as you will be able to see, it's uh, it's shaped to hook over the top. So this side here hooks over the top of the door. Which is this bit here. So it hooks over there. Forms the seal between the door frame and the window glass. Now hopefully you can see inside the door panel there's that bit of metal, twisted metal there. It's going into a, a hole just inside the door frame there. And it's simply a case of just giving that a bit of a thump and that will push that in. Now that's the door card on. So all clips are in. I think I lost one. So all in bar one was just snapped. But uh, it's all okay for now. She's good for now. So all we've got to do now is start getting that handle on there, the window winder, and then we'll get the speaker grill on. Now the door handle itself consists of this plastic bit and that just slides over there like that and then of course there's the pull handle that sits over the top of that there like so and then we've got the chrome bit to put on the end to open the door and there's just two bolts that hold the uh, the handle on and the plastic trim piece behind it and they fit in that hole there and another one in that hole there now a few fellas or fellerettes need to do this these ones they'll go in on an angle it's like a it almost looks like it could be a 45 degree angle the bolt goes straight through into the back of the door and then you just turn that to tighten it up and then that is your door handle going on just got this one here to tighten up and the handle will go on there and then we need the window winder handle on the speaker grill and then that's door back together and that's the chrome handle back on folks so that's working as it should so we'll put the window winder on now on the window winder it's just a, a screw that goes into there there is though this plastic cap goes over there like that there's two prongs I don't know if you can just make out the prongs on the sides one side digs into the window winder itself the other side sits in the door and presses into there just to hold it in place so i'll just get that on and then uh, we'll show you that working there we are then that's the window winder on and as you can see winding the window down so that's that back in place now what we've got to do is get the speaker grill on hopefully that'll fit on okay and then that'll be this door finished. So it's the door back together, the pull handle's on, the release handle's on, the window winder and the door speaker. Now curiously and rather interestingly there was only three screws 
for the speaker, uh, for the speaker grill. So it is loose on that side. So I couldn't see a hole anywhere for it. So I did the right thing and I checked on on the driver side, which is exactly the same. It's loose at the bottom. So for some reason, Ford in their infinite wisdom decided just to put three screws in to hold the grill in place. No doubt something to do with the bean counters. But anyway, it's uh, it's all back together. So I'll just walk back here. Let me have a look at that. All back together. And obviously just to check everything still works. The door shuts. Nothing's fallen off on the inside. And uh, just to prove that it does lock. There we are. So locked up again. So that's another little job finished on the Ranchero. Well, that's another job finished. So a little bit closer as to where I want to be with the truck. And uh, what I'll do is I'll link the playlist for the rest of the uh, of the series, part one and part two of uh, changing the door lock on the truck. So you can see those. I'll uh, I'll put a link to them just here at the end of the video. So we'll be able to say that. For now, though, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.